Hey, my name is Lamar Williams, and I'm based out of Philadelphia, PA. Here are the top three reasons why I love being a UGC creator. One, where were you when Paul was sucking at his mother's teeth? My partner here, he would now go inside and shoot your son. Um, one thing as well that I try to do as well is memorize every part. You feel me? Like right now, like I guess I'm shooting a movie every week. So, so the, when we get a new script, I'm looking at it and I'm reading my lines, getting my character in line, understanding exactly how I'm going to embody my character and what the scenario is. Then once I get that set, it's like, all right, bet. Let me see. Um, the dialogue of the person who's actually in the, the scene with me and then I try to remember certain key words so that I know when to go You feel me? Even though sometimes you're gonna have to improv But in general at least you get a gist of what's going on But if you just know your part and never look at the other sides or the other, you know Script of the people in the dialogue and things like that It might be hard because if they do improv in a certain way, you're not gonna pick up on it. You feel me? You're not gonna do that But if you memorize a the script then you'll pick up on it even if they improv because you know what the script is You know what the script you know what they got to say basically in the script. So when the improv is like, all right, that kind of aligns to what the script says in general. You feel me? So that's very, very important. Try to memorize everybody's line. It's very, very easy. Um, I mean, it's not easy, but it's, it makes it easier in general when you're auditioning. Um, picture your character. When I say embody your character, you feel me? You got to embody that character. Meaning, like for me, for instance, when we go, when I go to rehearsals every week and I know the character that I'm trying to be, when I get in there, and I respond and talk to you know you know my um my my fellow cast you know the crew members the director the producer I'm literally any character like I literally respond as though I'm that character already you feel me like all the time you see what I'm saying like I'm not just sitting there talking like this and then I'm only my character once action put like no behind the scenes all that I'm my character so that once action I'm already in it you feel me I don't got to try to jump into it and try to do all that stuff like that because then you got to try to jump into it remember the mannerisms then remember the script as well but once you're doing it consistently then once they say action that's that's you you feel me you embody it so much that that is you that's what you got to do even if you want to go to you going out for a date night anything like that you know for me that would that's something that I would do. I haven't done it yet, but that's something that you can do as well to where like it's like you know, role play. You feel me? If you're going out for dinner, going off wherever it is, like you be your character at that situation. You see what I'm saying? Interesting. You feel me? You'll you'll get um different results um every single time because you're gonna encounter different different people and their feedback. And I'm trying to tell you, you feel me? Like if you become believable out there to the world, then trust and believe you'll be believable behind the camera. I promise you. So um that's one thing as well. Um like I said, it's being kicked all the time. Script from the director, website, cake, cake, cake. Um, Google monologues, you feel me? That's something that everybody always told me. And in general, when you come into audition, Google a monologue that best fits you. You feel me? Like sometimes reading the script, it might not fit you, um, your personality or characteristics. But if you Google your own monologue um, that fits the characteristic that you need or that you meet or that you want, then I promise you it's going to be so much better hold on one second my drone you know what i mean i had to get my food though you feel me my cheese chicken and rice bowl stop playing but now nah, we back though we back but now nah, um a good monologue is very very um it's gonna be good in general you from just to have any repertoire as well you feel me monologue i'm going to more details as well in the next video of you know what monologue means and everything like that but definitely get a monologue um just to have in your mind in general when you're auditioning you feel me because sometimes they might say hey um Thank you for auditioning for the script. Um, I appreciate it, but um, do you got a monologue? You feel me? And sometimes when they say that, that can mean a certain thing. You feel me? Good or bad? Once again, my next uh, videos, I'm going to exactly show you um, how directors think and what certain words mean when they tell you to you. you feel me? So just stay tuned for the for the uh, next couple of videos because that's going to be one of the videos that I do drop. But um, like I said, monologues are very, 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 very important. Um, uh, watch shows, movies, um, that's another thing as well, you feel me, um, depending on what character that you want in general for the role that you want to be, or if you're already in something or want to audition for something and they got a certain, you know, thing about this character that you got to audition for, you feel me, try to watch shows or movies that's going to, um, come on, y'all, get, get your, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, come on, y'all, what is you doing with your life, bro? 
That's what dogs, bro. Dogs. You know what I'm saying? But nah, yeah. So um, pick a part and like find a, a good TV show that you love or a movie that you love and literally watch that movie or TV show that has a character that's going to literally be the character that you're auditioning for or that you're going to play. You feel me? Because then you can start peeping their mannerisms and characteristics and things that they do. You can bring that into your audition or into your role and it's going to make it so much more better. You feel me? Or just think about your favorite actors in general and then start watching movies and TV shows that's based on them and start learning why you love that actor. You feel me? And start taking some of the things that they use that made you love that actor and then use it for yourself. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. Um, well, not easy, but something that you could do that don't cost no money. Just do it on your spare time. Literally just watch movies and stuff like that. See what I'm saying? Improv. Improv is the very is the most important thing as well when it comes to improv, and man. This food gonna get cool. Let me eat some a little bit. But um Improv um is basically just freestyling. You feel me? Very, very simple. Um that's when you go off script a little bit. Definitely improv a lot because sometimes, like I said, you're going to be in a situation to where you're trying to read the script and then the other actor might be like me. I'm the other actor I'm talking about, right? To where um, you can be doing your stuff and then the other actor is so good that he embodies his character. He knows exactly what you're going to, your character is going to say, know what his character is supposed to say, know what the scenario means. And then he's going to improv you. From he might say words that's not on the script because it fits his character better. That's how good he knows his character. So that's why you always have to know your character and embody your character so that sometimes you can go off script and it still makes sense to you because it got to be believable. It can't be something that your character won't say. Otherwise, it'll look too fake. You feel me? So improv is very, very good. That's when, you, like I said, just go off script. You feel me? Just paint a scenario. Yeah, I got a video about that actually. You feel me? I'm going to I'm gonna post that. I'm going to post that. It's going to probably be on my reels, the YouTube reels, or it's going to be somewhere, but it's definitely going to be posted um, and then definitely go to that after this video. Go to that, and y'all gonna exactly see what I'm talking about. You feel me? Because I was at a seminar. Right, at the seminar, and the coach um, that was leading it, literally, the minute we got there, he's like, Yo, we're gonna put you on the scenario. It's A through Z. It's called A through Z. Yeah. Or I just made that name up. But it's basically A through Z. So we started A, and then I'm the first, it's like four of us. You feel me? I'm the first person. I gotta say a word to start with A. The next person I start with to start with B. Somebody gotta start with C. And in that scenario, we're a character. You feel me? Like, I'm the manager. Somebody's the, the um, my employee. My employee. And then you got two customers. So I gotta say A, but then I gotta talk. I got a manager, I still got to be in position, you feel me? So, like, if the person right there, my employee, there's an actor right there, and then we got two other actors, you feel me? So, as a me, I'll be like, ask them if they find everything that's okay, you feel me? So, that's what she said. And then, the next person would be B, and then she said, see the employee that's helping the customers, she would say, by the way, did you find everything that was okay? You see what I'm saying? So, then A, B, and then it goes like that towards the scenario. You feel me? So, definitely watch that. Um, That's definitely a good, you know, game to play as well. If you ever get out of character, that's a big, big thing as well, man. Mm. Meaning that if you're sitting there, that's pretty good. Maybe some a little more season, but it's pretty good. Meaning that if you're just um if you're going through the lines and you mess up, don't show it. Like don't show it. Don't show that you messed up. Literally stay in your character and say exactly what what your character would say if you messed up. You feel like if you fumble or stutter on some words, keep on going. Say another word, you feel me? Or use the mannerism that your character would use if they would stutter. You see what I'm saying? But don't break character, don't get out of character. That's another thing I'm going more detail when it comes to break character in the terms and stuff like that. But just don't do that, you feel me? Just continue to be your character. You always go until the actor, I mean, until the director says cut. If you mess up and he doesn't say cut, then he sees something, another scene or something in his head that he envisioned that might be better than what he already originally planned. But you got to keep on going until he say cut. Um, so, yeah, those are some confi um, some confidential, <laughs> some confidence builders, um, exercises that you can use. Um, once again, this video is brought to you by Lamar Williams, you feel me, the owner of Dream Big Entertainment Service, and I'm here just to give, you know, information that's going to help you in your career for the very, 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 very cheap price caught. The very, 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 very cheap price caught free. You feel me? Let's get it popping. You feel me? Stay tuned to my next video. Like I said, watch the videos. Look at my description. I am posting links on certain stuff I'm talking about so y'all can get the materials that I'm talking about and that y'all would need. And then watch exactly the reenactments and everything on as well, I am going to be posting some behind the scenes clips as well, so y'all can exactly see what it looks like behind the scenes to somebody that's touchable like me. You feel me? Things like that. Pause. Touchable. I'm untouchable. You know what I mean. <laughs> Let's get it. You feel me? Live by your standards and nobody else's. Let's get it popping, guys.